So through my Facebook um, page, I've, I've been giving status updates on, on what's been going on. And I know not you know not everyone has Facebook. Not every you know maybe some people have me hidden because you know who cares really. Um, but I guess this is it. Here's the story. Um, I didn't only sound like this. I sounded more like this. Cause I'm awesome. And hopefully within a year or so. Um, uh, that will be back. Um, I'm going to speech therapy and stuff like that um, now. So, why? Um, November 09, I started to get a little uh, sort of abscess. I thought it was an ulcer uh, on the right side of my tongue. Uh, just let it go, you know, whatever, who cares. Um, I get ulcers all the time when I get like dehydrated or whatever. So, um, I let it go and uh, got a little bigger and it started to hurt a little more um then January I knew it, like it, it had really sort of changed um the shape that it was it wasn't this tiny little thing anymore got a little bigger but whatever I still didn't do anything about it um then in, I guess it was the beginning of February I was like okay this isn't going away it constantly hurts um I'm going to show you some pictures, um, they're kind of gross, so, um, if you don't want to see it, look away for a minute or two, second or two. Uh, anyway, in February, uh, got a little bigger, um, like I said, it was a, I guess I, I kept, in, kept comparing it to a jujube. Then the center started to spread a little bit. I went to the doctor, I went to my primary physician. And he was like, I think you just bit it and it got infected. Here's some antibiotics. So I took the antibiotics, went back in two weeks, and um, it, it was not looking any better. So I went to see um, an ear, nose, and throat guy. Uh, he took a biopsy of it. Um, and uh, the biopsy, it wasn't, I, it, it was inconclusive or, or it, it, didn't, it didn't tell them what they needed to know, so he wanted to do sort of, um, uh, just go into a bigger operation, and I was like, yo, Jack, I'm, you know, let me, let me look into this first. So, I actually, um, went to go see my mom's old, uh, doctor, and also other members of my family had been seeing this, your nose and throat guy. My mom used to see him for his years, for her years, I mean, anyway, go to see him, um, we got along immediately, um, hello, Dr. Sirkin. And he looked at it and was like, I don't know why anything is telling you other than that's cancer. That's 80, 90% cancer. It already looks like it may be uh, into stage two. So, um, you know, we got to get you in the hospital and we have to cut the son of a bitch out. So, um, he did a bigger biopsy just to, just to be safe. Um, and it came back exactly as he said. So on May 21st, um, I went into uh, Delaware County Community Hospital. They took out about, uh, he took about a third of my tongue. Um, to be fair to Dr. Sirkin, he saved a little more than 65% of my tongue. That sounds much nicer. Um, this is it. Uh, I thought it looks normal, but uh, and whatever, it's not that fucked up, but it still sounds wacky. Here they, um, yeah, right? This scar is from, uh, they took out some lymph nodes. Oh, this is from the trach. I had a breathing tube thing. I couldn't, I couldn't talk. Um, uh, geez, I thought it was three or four days. If I, I, I can't remember, but, uh. Yeah, yeah, I was in the ICU for three days with that thing. It was it was creepy. It was, it's creepy, but um, it wasn't that bad, whatever. Uh, anyway, the scar is from the, um, they took out some lymph nodes. Now they found two. One was fine. One had cancer in it. The kind of cancer it had in it, I guess, had uh, has legs. 
uh, uh, roots or whatever you want to call it, tentacles, and it started to dig in to, to the area that it was sitting. Um, the response to this, uh, from what I'm being told by your nose and throat, um, uh, my oncologist my and my radiation oncologist, yeah, is um, radiation is the way to go. They want to, you know, zap my face with some radiation, uh, and that should do it. Um, unfortunately, I don't have health insurance. I forgot to say that in the beginning. Um, I've been paying for all this out of pocket, and it is about the, the price of um, a nice new, brand new car. Uh, nothing off the used car a lot. I'm talking a 2011 options, you know. Ooh, see, I do that now too. Uh, car. Uh, which I, I don't have. I don't have the resources to come up with, um, even when they want to start the treatment. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I have some options. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to another place uh, today. I'll talk about it in another, um, another vlog about uh, what that turns up but about maybe some uh, alternative um, ways to maybe get past to get past this so I I, I feel like I, get, I feel like that's all the information uh, to give so far um, what this vlog is going to continue to be is about treatment and what's going on um, ultimately you know if I do go into it it starts um, uh, they want to start the 26th of this month of July um, so what ha what will happen is, you know, this, this blog isn't going to be about, you know, uh, films and, you know, upcoming projects, shorts, any of that kind of stuff. It's only for, uh, this cancer bullshit. Um, <clears throat> it may, um, like I said, when, when, once the treatment starts, I'm going to check in once a day. This is what happened today, but, you know, um, it would be more like, I guess, uh, David Lynch's, um, weather updates. Just a quick check-in. You know, this is what it's, you know, doing, or this, you know, hey, look what the medicine is doing, or whatever, you know, just like I said, general check-in, and then, um, who knows, we'll see what happens after that, so, uh, that's that, thanks for watching this, and, uh, you know, thanks for all the well wishes that have been coming through, I really appreciate it, I don't realize when I talk a lot, I get a little pool of spit, that's new, and it disgusts me, anyway, um, that's that. Thanks for checking in. Thank you for sticking by me and uh, and continuing to do so. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to know um, that there are real people out there. It's not just cyber faces and and stuff like that anymore. So um, thank you guys, and I will uh, talk to you soon. I don't have a catchy outro phrase like I used to. What did the puppet used to say? Fare thee well. Fare you well.